Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie gaming we are finally getting a chance to jump on Beyond the Steel Sky, a sequel to the classic point and click adventure game Beneath the Steel Sky. Now if you guys know me you should know by now that I am a really big fan of point and click adventure games, not to mention the ones that feature a really really beautiful world that you can explore and of course a great story as well. Now, I've been following the progress of Beyond the Steel Sky for quite some time now, and I was really excited last night to find out that the game will just be released on Apple Arcade just about now. Of course, the game will also come on Steam later on, and I believe other platforms as well. But for now, without further ado, let's jump into the game here and explore Beyond the Steel Sky. Let's see what this game is all about. I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night. Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, Milo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folks so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. I'm your friend. Call me Joe. Joey. <laughs> Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Molo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. Determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. 
I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang gang birds, scavengers, and in this wasteland, that meant only one thing, people. turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. Alright, there we go. Holy crap, this game looks gorgeous. Look at this. It feels like I'm playing Borderlands. <laughs> I mean, I'm loving that they added that intro, that comics book intro style to it, but man, the look of the game is so different from the intro. <laughs> what is that? Gang Gang. Examine. Beady eyed Gang Gang bird was watching. What? Me. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, it looks like we are in Australia here, not only by this sign, but also by the accent that kid had, that Milo had. Uh, what do we have here? I needed to oh, speak crap. to the girl. Yeah, I just wanted to look at that car. It was an old car from long, long ago. All right, buddy. Let's have a chat with the girl then. Let's see what she's doing here. The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hmm. What's she doing? Hey, excuse me. <laughs> I spooked her. Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that. <laughs> Wait, I just Oh my god, I'm loving this. Whatever that device was. The bird had it now. Man, this looks really good. Oh look at this. The birds are going to the dead body now. What? Alright, let's see if we can interact with the dead body. Although I have a feeling the birds are not gonna allow me Yep, just as I thought. Look at that. No way I was going to get between those birds I knew it. and feast. God dang it. Hmm. All right, let's see how we can do this. Examine the birds. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. Huh. Can I do something to the corpse? Of they propped against a rock. I mean, it doesn't like it can do anything to the corpse. Uh, what about gang gang beasts? I see that I have an inventory here. Oh, look at this, I have a crowbar, a pie, and an android finger. Huh. And I'm guessing using the crowbar on them is not gonna work. Let's just try, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this definitely doesn't work, that's for sure. Alright, so... There were a few things that would scare gang gangs. And a crowbar was not one of them. Of course it's not. I would need to find another solution. Alright, buddy, let's try to use the pie then. Maybe they're gonna go for the pie. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Get the heck out of here, birds. Leave me alone. All right, and now I can definitely examine the body, right? The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. Hmm. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. Interesting. 
Oh, the logo. what's that? I'd seen it before. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Holy crap, look at the city here. What the heck? He said I was back, and I'm guessing that's because in Beneath the, Beneath the Still Sky, you actually played in Union City, but uh, I didn't really play that game, and I have no idea what, uh, what he's talking about. Wow, what the heck were those? Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Holy crap, I'm loving this. I mean, look at the wall. Look at the size of these walls. What the heck? There's nothing passing by them. I'm loving this. Really loving this. Man, this game is gonna have some really gorgeous cyberpunk locations that we're gonna be able to check out. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? Alright, I guess that's a thing. Apparently the sign broke. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can interact with it. Or can we? No, we cannot. Huh. What the heck? <laughs> Welcome, unregistered gap lander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the Immigration Terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for... If you're looking for the Immigration Terminal, it's right over there. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's ask about the registration. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the Immigration Terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. Hmm. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. Alright, uh, first of all, let's ask about a U-chip. Let's see what this is all about. What exactly is a U-chip? Don't they teach you Gaplanders anything? A U-chip stores your ID and personal data in a micro-implant. The immigration terminal is easy to find. What's keeping you? <laughs> the correct route is indicated by these signs. Oh my god, I'm really loving this character. Uh, let's ask about the terminal. How do I get to immigration? I mean, she already told me, the but... The terminal is at the wall end of the garden. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Soon as you've registered, you can access the Minos device. Alright, I got it. Uh, what is a Minos? What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. So go register! Alright, alright, I got it. Um, let's ask about... Actually, let's talk about 2CU. I'm guessing this is the name of the droid, right? I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a Gaplander like you. <laughs> I bet. Oh and my what god. Is it you do? I tell Gaplanders like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> really loving this droid. I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance, so you're in the right place. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Alright, uh, what about the missing kid? Can I talk Can about that? Can find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. Hmm. Have you seen a boy called Milo? No, but I do see an unregistered Gaplander. <laughs> All right, right. Let me let me just go and register here. Pleasure. Thank you very much, droids. <laughs> Man, I'm loving this. The 
droid wasn't letting me out of her sight. Oh yeah, that's right. Look at this. It's actually following me. I don't think it's gonna let me out of his sight until I register. Yeah, look at that. It's actually coming after me. What the crap? <laughs> Alright, let me try to follow these arrows here. And uh, see if we can register. I'm guessing these are the signs. And this is the terminal where I'm gonna register, maybe? Let's try. No, no, not that one. I wanna try this one right here. Use. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. Huh. <laughs> wow, U-chip implant successful. What the heck? You are now registered with Union City. A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. Interesting. It probably is going to help us uh, get some information. I don't know. Uh, Alright, let's keep looking around. Let's see who do we have here. I see we have some characters around. Trucker. Well, I guess let's have a chat with this guy. While well, his guy the first one to meet me. Out in the sun a bit too long. <laughs> Smelled like it too. <laughs> Smell like it too. Uh, talk. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you? Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not selling anything. Selling anything, buddy. Likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cow pat, not a whole lot. So you're trying to get in the city? Ups a blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. Bruce's power cell. I'm guessing Bruce is the name of his truck there, because he's a trucker after all, right? I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? <laughs> your name is W? Well, some of it. And what exactly is it that you're hauling? Until I get the old boy back up and running, absolutely nothing. Old Bruce is taking a turn for the worse. <laughs> All right, uh, let's talk more about the truck. When the power cell is working, what are you hauling then? Mini K's. Artisanal, organic, handcrafted protein cylinders. At least that's what it says on the packet. Sounds expensive. Doesn't it? Between you and me, they're just knackworth sausages. But these city folk love a tagline. Mini K's. I'm really interested in uh, finding out some more information about these mini K's. Uh, so let's talk about it. So your truck is full of mini knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it on, full. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, pull the door and jerk it hard. <laughs> wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. <laughs> Remember the order. Hmm, so maybe we have to find a way to open that gate somehow. Uh, also, apparently this guy said if I manage to open it, I'm gonna be able to grab myself some mini K, a handful of mini Ks. Hmm. Those mini Ks you mentioned. As I say, grab an handful. Truck's ah, open. Yeah, there we go. Truck's open. Huh. Uh, missing key. Let's ask about the power cell. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye. Emptier than a politician's vows. There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours. Turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini case cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to naught. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice until they send someone out to juice up Bruce's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's go with uh, power cell some more, actually. Right, if I take a look at the power cell? I'm pretty handy with this sort of stuff. Hobbsworth has it. 
told me he'd have it charged in a jiffy. Great. How long ago was that? About a million jiffies ago. <laughs> My guess is it's what the heck? gathering dust or it's being ground to dust. Mm. So all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Land snakes alive, yes. A power cell. Do you want me to write it down? <laughs> no need, buddy. No, no need. I, I got it. it. <laughs> I had this sinking feeling that the wrecked power cell in Hobsworth's hut was the one that Wendell hoped would power his truck. Hmm. All right. I don't know what Hobsworth is. Who is this guy? Uh, anyway, let's keep uh, asking about the truck doors. The doors. They're locked shut. Not locked. Jammed. Oh, ah, I get it. Lubricant. So how can I get in? Didn't you listen? It's a ritual. First off, give the bumper a good wallop. <laughs> then, do a little jig. A jig? Man, I'm All loving right, this character. A jig. <laughs> then pull the door hard. Pretty technical, huh? Have to move with the times, pal. <laughs> All right. Uh, p p what else? I mean, I think we've already talked about all this stuff. Let's uh, talk about the stalker. I'm looking for a vehicle. Well, mate, today's your lucky day. That is a vehicle. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell, and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs. <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. <laughs> I saw what I saw. It kidnapped a kid from my village. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. But I've never seen any come mm. through here. All right, let's keep talking about the missing kids. Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No, he was kidnapped. Oh, oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. Huh, interesting. Maybe I do have to go and have a chat with the kids. Uh, I'm pretty sure we are done about with our discussions here with the old man. Uh, let's just I'll leave. Let's see what else we can do. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Alright, buddy. So, apparently, he needs us to fix up his truck here. Uh, let's see... I mean, this seems to be his umbrella, right, and his jacket. What about the truck? Can I go inside it? No. All right, let's try to go at the back and there see if we can open it up. Smell, and it was coming from the truck. Oh yeah, there is a smell. There is something coming out of the truck. That's for sure. Uh, I don't think these birds are gonna allow me to cross tow. And apparently, they're called Murder of Gang Gangs. What the crap? Look at them looking at me. <laughs> Reminded myself what of the, the heck? Amount. This is so weird. The murder of gang gangs. Oh my God! The murder of gang gangs. Uh, I, I definitely cannot Those interact with. Those weren't going to let me anywhere near. Yeah, they're not gonna allow truck. me. Hmm. I have a feeling somehow I am gonna have to get rid of the birds, but I don't think I have what I need in my inventory. Um, let's see here. What else can I do? And we can definitely not go inside the truck. Oh, what about the hood? Open. Huh. Interesting. All right, what is that? Oh, this is the battery cartridge. I get it. There was an empty space where the power cell should have been. Uh-huh. So, I think we gotta find the power cell to put it back in there. There's another gang gang bird. <laughs> when they are alone, apparently gang gang birds don't, uh... Don't seem that dangerous, but when there's a lot of them together, well, that's not really gonna work. Uh, you know what? Let's have a chat with this kid. Maybe he knows something about what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's have a chat with him first. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not weird guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. <laughs> so it does. Seriously, his name is Pixel? I'm Foster. I love it. I remember that Loving it. because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. <laughs> Thanks, kid. All right. Uh, let's go with talking about Pixel here. What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? 
Um, can I ask him about? Let me see, kid. I guess. For a boy about your age, named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy. I remember every oh. face that's come through here since Seriously? I was a little kid. Yeah. How many is that? Like. At least 12. <laughs> How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Mm. You sure you haven't seen any children come through here? Nope. Definitely would have remembered. What about anything suspicious? Suspicious? Yeah, there was this one guy. Tall, wearing a big coat and carrying a purse. <laughs> He's talking about me. Seriously. I see. <laughs> nice one. And his name was Fossil. <laughs> <laughs> what a brat. I got the joke, kid. All right, buddy. Uh, let's keep talking about his name. What do you do here? Well, me and my brother and my sister usually live in a tribe way over that way by the old burnt down radio tower. But it's like so boring there. We come here for the action. I can see why. Oh, wait a minute, uh, as they were talking, I think I saw the girl, the girl that was checking the dead body uh, when we first started the game. Hmm, I'm gonna have to stop talking with the kid in just a second here and try to have a chat with the lady, but first, uh, let's chat about the roundabout. What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobbsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety, then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think I think he's talking about uh, this wheel right here. Maybe if we get it to work, maybe I'm gonna be friends with him. I don't know. Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago. Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago, my brother Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Like a totally huge. But not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. <laughs> oh, man, I'm loving the name of his brother, Voxel. It's really cool. What's this about a giant monster? Right, so my brother Voxel, like two nights ago, it was night time, right? And we had been playing this massive game of buzzsaws and dynamos, so I was like, Wah! <laughs> But, uh, where was I? The giant monster. Oh, yeah, right. So, later that night, he wakes me up screaming about how he saw a giant monster. And? That's the end of my story. Don't tell Ember I told what? you. Seriously? So you cannot tell me more about it? Listen. About this monster. Jeez, man, why are you so obsessed with monsters? They're not real. <laughs> well, I do believe that the monster he's talking about, it's actually the stalker machine. This vehicle, it had legs instead of wheels. Vehicles don't have legs, though. This one did. Your brother saw a monster, right? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that it was a giant daddy long legs. No, that your brother's monster was actually a very small Daddy Longlegs, but very close to him. No, I caught a Daddy Longlegs once. What was your question? <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh, let's talk about his brother then. Who's Voxel? My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. Ah, dang it. So he's gonna need something from me in order to tell me the information. Um, let's see. Maybe let's chat about the roundabout. Maybe I can fix it for him and get the information. Your roundabout probably has a chain on it for a reason. Yeah, and that reason is Mr. Hobsworth is stupid. Can you fix it? Okay, so apparently this Mr. Hobsworth, he put the chain on it. What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? I, I guess. Yeah. I told you, man. 
He thinks he saw a morn star. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Nah, -uh. you gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. All right, now. kid. I got the idea. So maybe if I fix the roundabout. Call it if you need anything. <laughs> Man, I'm loving it. Apparently this is Australia because everybody seems to be having an Australian accent and I'm really loving it. Alright, so that's the girl that I'm talking about. I think that's the girl that we gotta chat, but first of all, let's see. Let's examine the chain. A sturdy chain tethered the roundabout to the ground. Mm. Can I maybe use the crowbar to get it open? To unlock it actually? Let's see. Please work. Oh, there we go. We freed it. All right. Away. <laughs> push me. Uh, all right. Uh, push. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. It's actually working. <laughs> I love it. Do I have to push you again? I guess I can. <laughs> I wonder if I'm gonna have to make this kid dizzy as heck. <laughs> Alright. Well, this works. <laughs> He's all dizzy. Look at that. So we had to do it. Oh my god, I'm loving it. Alright, let's have a chat with him now. Hopefully he is gonna help me tell me hey, where his brother is. How can I help? All right, buddy. Uh, can you tell me what Voxel is Will now? You tell me where your brother is hiding. Mm, maybe. Yeah. Okay. You done me a favor. Sure, I did. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. All right. Any idea how I can get more answers out of Voxel? I don't know, but I'm getting sick of the whole monster thing. Any idea how? I don't know, mm -hmm. but I'm getting sick All right, so apparently we are kind of done with the information I could have uh, taken from him. Okay, I'll go. <laughs> All right, buddy, I love it. Love it that we managed to get this unstuck. Uh, next up, let's have a chat with this girl. I don't know. I don't know what she's all up to, but I do want to find I out what she was doing with that dead body. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. Huh. All right. Let's see. Talk. Excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert! And you're the girl with the corpse. <laughs> okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my deed! Your deed? Your what? what is that? To who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. All right, um, let's go with that body. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the Gap or the city. It's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff, trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed, it'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a DEET? My DEET, man. DTT. -T -T. <laughs> Data transfer tool. DEET. What's the DEET for? Duh. Transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading, yeah? You distracted me and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Hmm. Alright. Um... Let's ask some more information about the deed here. I want to know what this is. Tell me about this deed. Simple. I collect IDs and I use the deed to swap them. At least I did until Big Steve grabbed it. Hmm. All right. Uh, who the heck is Big Steve? Who's Big Steve? You see all these birds all over the place? Big Steve's the purple one with a beak full of my deed. All right. Um. Let's ask some more information. Let's get some more information about the dead body then. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? I told you already. I was dating his ID. Only now, Big Steve has my date and ipso facto, the ID. Hmm. 
All right, I think I get it. Uh, what about the chip? So were you digging that guy's U chip out of his hand? What? No. Data transfer. I told you. I cloned his ID data onto the D for later. What happens later? Well, you know, maybe someone doesn't want to be found. I do <laughs> for a price. I get it. Uh, yeah. Of course, for a price, buddy. Uh, what about? I got a U chip with a temporary ID from over there. Good for you. They're free. <laughs> Can I get into the city with it? No. And yes. And no. Break that down for me. No, a temp ID so they can keep track of you around here. Won't get you inside. Yes, I could deep that corpse's ID onto a U chip. And no, because as you well know, my deet's been eaten. Hmm. All right, let's keep talking about the dead body. Any idea whose body that was out there? Don't know. Just some guy from the city. How do you know? Because I got the citizen's ID from his U chip. Duh. Uh huh. So she got some information out of that, I guess. What do you trade? Like I said, sometimes people from outside want stuff from the inside. Sometimes people from inside want stuff from the outside. Second one doesn't happen very often since inside's got like everything and free. But it happens. Suppose a guy from outside wanted to get inside. Ah, my most popular item. Until Big Steve took my date, that is. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing uh, we gotta find a way to get inside the city here. Um, and apparently, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to do that just yet until we find this date from Big Steve. Uh, let's talk about the stalker. Did you see a strange vehicle come through this way? Strange? You mean like that stinky one there? No, this one had legs. Not seen anything like that. Maybe you didn't either, crazy guy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Sure you're not. All right, what about a missing kid? I just need to know if you've seen a missing kid come this way. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel. And the only thing they're missing is a few screws. <laughs> All right, I'm out. pretty sure we cannot Thanks. talk anything more with Anytime. her. Oh, wait, no. Come back <laughs> if you want to talk business. For all right, all right. Business interest in dead bodies. She seemed pretty normal. Now let's see here. So we got rid of this situation. Uh, what is this? Sandpit. Examine. A sandpit. In the desert. The irony <laughs> sure wasn't lost on me. All right. Uh, so nothing, nothing new with this. Uh, you know what I want to do? I want to find Voxel here, and I do feel like Voxel is hiding. Somewhere around here. I mean, this is where the kid said, right? That he's, uh, that, that he's hiding in the park. By the benches. Yeah, I don't see nobody around here. So I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, Voxel's hideout. No way I just found it. Voxel was hiding out in the makeshift den. Seriously? Uh, talk. Hey, buddy, are you inside there? Hello, Voxel. Ah, oh, there we go. Shh. What? What the heck? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Uh... All right, kids. Um, let's go with monster. I wanted to ask you if you've seen any monsters. <laughs> How do you know about the monster? He sure did. Uh, Ember, Pixel, Foster. Uh, apparently there's gonna be some decisions we're gonna have to take here with our discussions. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go with Pixel. Your brother, Pixel. Stupid, stupid <laughs> Pixel. He's so stupid. Go away. No, 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 kid. Hold up. Ah, oh, crap. Seriously? Dang it. Maybe I should not have said Pixel. Me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Hmm. Uh, let's go with missing kids. I'm looking for a missing kid. He came through this way a couple of nights ago. His name is Milo. He's about Pixel's age. And my age. <laughs> Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen anything. I've been in this fortress where it's safe. Safe from what? The monster. What monster? Voxel, about this monster. 
truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here, and I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Aw, um, oh, man, that was a I great way to put it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big. Like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. Oh, no way. And where did it go? He definitely it saw it. Off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I going to let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? All right, kid. I like that. Um, let's go with missing kids. Can you tell me more about these missing kids? Only that I heard them inside the monster. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's talk about stalker. This giant dog. Where did you see it? I was playing buzz saws and dynamos with Pixel. I won, and he was really cross. Then, in the night, I woke up. It was totally dark. I'd heard this sound. Like feet padding along the road. Big feet. And then I heard screams. Children's screams. I ran over here and hid in my fort. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. Hmm. I wonder if they went inside the city. Oh, hold up. Apparently the kid said he's hungry. I have a feeling I may need to bring him some food. Uh, let's ask about the city. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. <laughs> then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better Oh, hold up. This. He gave me a firecracker. What is oh, it? That is awesome. A firecracker. I was gonna use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. All right, kid. Thank you very much for that. What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. <laughs> but cover your ears. Hmm, I'm guessing they're gonna be really loud. What do I do with this fire? Whatever you want. It makes a scary <laughs> bang. All right. Uh, let's uh, talk some more about the city. Do you know how I can get inside? I already said you need to get across the river and through the big door. All right. Uh, let's keep talking about the stalker Did then. Anyone else see the dog? I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the so. only one that saw it, actually. No one believes it even exists. Hmm. But you do, don't you? You believe me? Don't worry, Voxel. I'm on the hunt. How long ago did you see this dog? Um, it was one, two, three... <laughs> two. It was two nights ago. And you've been in here ever since? Yeah. I'm hungry. Oh man. Yeah, don't worry, kid. I'm gonna bring you some food How if I find it. Did you see this dog? I said already. And you've been in here. Yeah. I'm hungry. Alright, so we definitely yeah. know exactly what we gotta do here. Hey, you got anything to eat? Not just I'm yet, buddy, hungry. but I'm gonna bring it to you. Uh I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. <laughs> he doesn't usually know that, though. Huh. Ah, understood. Where does he hold his Boxer's sandwiches, giant though? Dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. All right. Well, that was really interesting, and I'm pretty sure that this monster is the stalker. So, we are going to have to find the way inside the city here. But uh, for now, guys, this is going to be the end of this first episode of Beyond the Steel Sky. I really hope you all enjoy this new game. And of course, if you do, please make sure you hit on that like button down below, as that will let me know that you want to see more. And I'm going to keep on creating more videos for this. And also, if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please do consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you all enjoy. Alright, everybody, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next episode real soon. Bye!